Are, are we going to do anything about this? Fort Hood responds to viral allegations made on social media by female soldier. This popped up this morning. A Fort Hood acknowledgement Sunday of allegations of harassment and re retaliation made by Sergeant Jules Scott on Instagram have gone viral. We are aware of the allegations and concerns raised by Sergeant Jules Scott. We take all allegations of misconduct seriously and commanders will investigate and take action as appropriate. Sergeant Scott is safe and in the care of her unit leadership, says Fort Hood. And I've got Fort Hood's uh, post pulled up right here. So from the third Corps and Fort Hood, we are aware of the allegations and concerns. Scott is safe and in the care of her unit leadership. Our soldiers can always bring up concerns to their leadership who will take appropriate action commensurate with Army standards and values. That, that's from the official blue checkmark Fort Hood Instagram page. Well, according to Sergeant Jules Scott, that is not true. Scott immediately responded to Fort Hood's Facebook post on her own Instagram page saying, this is a lie. I am not in the care of my leadership. And I've got that post right here. So we've got this one here. So here's Fort Hood's, and this is from, it's Jew.baby underscores, her Instagram handle. You can see it here. So she reposts Fort Hood's uh, thing there. And then it, she says, this is a lie. I am not in the care of my leadership. The last time I have spoken to my leadership was when they had me illegally arrested by undercovers and taken to the hospital. The hospital discharged me soon after, as it is very obvious to everyone, even the social workers, what's truly going on. My leadership begged them to keep me there after repeatedly being told no by medical professionals. You have not taken one single step to ensure my safety or investigate anything, even when provided hard evidence. Instead, after sending out this email as a cry for help after 11 months of fighting this corrupt system and leadership, you had me hawked down like a criminal, arrested, and harassed. After being discharged from the hospital, you all had multiple police show up at my door and my first sergeant, first sergeant DeBrill, at 3 a.m. threatening me of what's going to happen if I leave my room, that I am not restricted to, she adds. I couldn't even use the bathroom without someone standing inside of my room outside of my bathroom door. That was the last time I spoke with my leadership. Two days later, I was informed that I would be discharged in 10 days for misconduct. What makes it even worse is that they didn't even want to tell me under what conditions or what for. I had to find out the hard way. Our soldiers can always bring their concerns to their leadership. Complete lie, she says. I was denied my right to the open door policy multiple times and have audio to prove each time, and we're going to play that audio. No action has been taken except the disgusting efforts to shut me up and discharge me. You will be held accountable for the pain that myself and many other soldiers have endured and lost their lives over. More evidence to come. Thanks for your support and love, everyone. And I'm going to read this email really quick. This is from Sergeant Jewell to uh, her leadership. My name is Sergeant Scott Jewell. I am stationed at Fort Hood, Texas. This email is in regards to some of the horrible things that I have endured while being stationed at Fort Hood. These issues are unprofessional, unjust, and against all of the Army's core values. I am asking that you please take the time to read through the documents that I have attached below. We're going to go through those. Well, we're going to go through some audio attachments that she has. I have completely exhausted all of my resources at Fort Hood. However, holding leaders accountable is non-existent here. Repeatedly, it's been proven that Fort Hood cannot hold Fort Hood accountable. She's exactly right. On multiple occasions, I have tried to speak with the brigade and post commander through the open door policy and was continuously denied. I am sending this message from a place of complete desperation. I am hoping and praying that you will not only hear the concerns many other soldiers and I have endured or witnessed, but that you will conduct a proper and thorough investigation, ideally taking action and holding each other, each and every individual accountable. Unfortunately, this is an ongoing situation and there is much more evidence that I would like to provide and problems occurring daily that I was not able to send along with this email for security, safety, and time purposes. This is just the tip of an iceberg to illustrate a fraction of what has been occurring within my unit and chain of command. It has become a matter of life and death for me. If no action is taken or no investigation is launched, I am unsure how much longer I'll be alive. So saying she feels in danger of a life ending. The pain, is being the pain is becoming intolerable, and the weight has become too heavy. My next of kin has already been notified, and in two days, I will be marked as AWOL. I can't return to work. I am genuinely terrified for my life, whether it is self-inflicted or an external force. I am willing to speak with anyone concerning these matters. I am cornered with no other options. Please help. Before read, and then she says about the uh, attached documents, but she's attached some audio here. So remember what she said about an open-door policy. So we're going to listen to this audio here. Hi. I 
This is her going to the CG's office to see if she can speak to them in regards to their open door policy. Now, if you guys have ever dealt with an open door policy in the military, this is exactly what you should expect to encounter. It is not a true open door policy. Listen to what happens to her. So if you guys aren't exactly sure what's going on here, we've got a female service member who feels threatened by her chain of command, who tries to go to the CG, the commanding general, to let him know, in, I assume him, in accordance with the open door policy that he has, that she is in danger. And what do they do? They tell her that she has to go through her chain of command, who is in fact the problem, to go to the open door policy of the general. And by the way, I will say from my personal experience, this is exactly typical. And then we've got a follow up on here. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thanks for coming to see me. Sorry, Scott. Um, how are you feeling? Good. You got a little bit of COVID. You want to recover now? First COVID, yes. I'm sorry? First COVID, yes. I'm in trouble. Something that you go with that? Yeah. Um, what is the purpose of today? I would like to speak for um, the CJ. In what? Uh, in reference to what? Um, just everything. Uh, the, unit, the unit things that I've been encountering, um, the things that we talked about in the past on multiple occasions. Um. So she's smart there. She, in this meeting with the, with the command sergeant major, she says, I just want to continue to talk about this thing that I've talked about on multiple occasions. And the, and the, and the battalion sergeant major goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. basically acknowledging, yeah, she has been bringing this to people's attention for some time now. Just my, just, I mean, everything that we've spoken about and more. Um, yes. Okay. So that's it. I mean, what, what else would you like to talk about? Today? And then it's like when you, it's like, just like going to the doctor at the VA or like, thank you for that complaint. Is there anything else? And you're like, nah, that's it. The complaint. Can we talk about that? And they're like, nah, we can't really talk about that. Nothing, Tom Major. Um, yeah, I just want to speak to someone. Hard. Totally shut her down. Totally shut her down. It's a disgrace. And then the actual Fort Hood Facebook, Instagram page posts, she's safe and in good hands. And then if you look at the uh, comments there, the comments on the Fort Hood page say things like trying to cover up that's sick. Y'all are done for. This is false. And you guys need to be made accountable. You will be found out. We are not letting up. Someone make a petition. Have all these people held accountable. She is not safe. Too many cover ups have occurred here. Lies. You guys are telling me. They're basically getting called out on their own page here. Uh, at least they haven't uh, disabled comments or anything like that. But then what we have here is this story is actually garnering quite a bit of attention, and it's being spread on Twitter by some other advocates too. And Sergeant Jewel Scott, the person that we're talking about here, actually posted a Twitter video of what's going on with her, and now he can hear in her own words what has been uh, going on here. Let's check this out, and hopefully this will shed some light, more light on the situation. Hey y'all, so I just want to get on here real quick and say that like, um, if something happened to me, if just real blunt and honest with, if I end up dead, if I end up missing or something like that, just know somebody did it. And I just want to get out here and put something out because I know how the media, I know how my job um, being in the military will paint these false narratives. And I'm going to do more talking about it. I'm trying to post a video now, but I just need something quick. Um, put out there so that way people know, like, if it was self-inflicted or something like that, my family would know, my friends would know. So if if nothing come from them or nothing like that, I just want to say somebody did it. I don't know what's going to happen, but for some reason, I feel like my days, some, for some, something is just telling me my days are limited. And I don't know how it could be. You know, I don't know if it's, you know, 
things get heavy, man. And I'm not going to lie, like, things are perfect for me. Like, it could be. And this is not me trying to come on here and tell y'all that I'm going to be dead the next day. I don't know. I don't know. But I know those people who do end up dead. They wish they would have put something out. They wish they could have told their truth before, you know, they left this earth and left it to people. Now, like I said, I'm trying to make a video um, of everything. Just saying what's then they can paint whatever picture they want. And people don't know my side of the story. So I'm going to make a video, but just keep me in y'all prayers. Um, and just know that don't... I told y'all it was only a matter of time. They put out AWOL. They just seen me less than 24 hours ago. They talked to me today. They put out AWOL. I just want y'all to see what's going on. So they have me. No, nobody told me nothing was going on. All these people here for me. Y'all, at this point, I honestly think these people are just probably trying to kill me or something. Like I don't know. Um, they won't leave me alone. They. Are so that's that video. And then uh, let's see. Let's see if there's anything new on her Instagram page. As of the moment of this recording. Given everything, um, and it's a long video. Now they are arresting me. Can I leave? Can I leave from this phone? Hey, Isaiah. I'm not. You just got to stay in the vehicle. You just got to follow the instruction of what's going on. Mm. I got you. Watch this, right? You can flip it around. Looks like she... You can she... face it behind you like this. Just stick your arm out. You can film the whole process of going into the car. Like this or like... Yeah, so you can hold it like that. Looks like she might be getting taken into custody. I'm not saying like she was missing or anything like that, but. Let's see, there might be another update too. An even longer video of just the, her, her being taken into custody. They, they, didn't, they literally did not say anything. So it looks like as of, as of this moment, she's been uh, of the recording of this video, she's been taken into custody over on Fort Hood. And, uh, and you know, that's all the information that we appear to have about this story at this time. It's an ongoing situation. But if nothing else, if absolutely nothing else, we see a person in serious distress over at Fort Hood. And I have zero confidence that the people over there have the capability of helping her. I think we have enough enough examples of uh, of failures of leadership to see that somebody going through something like this, whatever specifically caused this to to begin, what whatever was the in, in thing that made her file her original complaint, ha has surely been mishandled. And Four Hood posting that she's safe, it's all good, is just to deflect on what's really going on. So I want to raise awareness about this, and we'll continue to follow this story. But if you guys have any information on this or updates, let me know in the comments, as well as just share this for awareness sake so that we can make sure that this person is not uh, brushed under the rug like they try to do with Vanessa Guillen and so many other stories out of there out of Fort Hood. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. It's pretty upsetting stuff. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up in the corner here and check out this next video. If you want, in the description down below, there's links where you can get Scuttlebutt Show merch and find out how you can support the channel. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to talking to you guys very soon.